What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now when you start thinking about accessories to use with DaVinci Resolve, a gaming mouse isn't usually the first one that springs to mind, but they're surprisingly useful. They're readily available, they're reasonably affordable, and they can actually do some really cool stuff to save you a little bit of time when you're editing your videos. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now this is a slightly unusual video because I'm not actually going to show you a huge amount within DaVinci Resolve, but I'm going to give you a demonstration of how I've set my mouse up and hopefully it'll just give you some ideas how you can do the same and hopefully save you some time. On top of that, we're also going to do a giveaway. Ta -da! These are Logitech G502 SE gaming mice. They have a whole load of customizable buttons on them, so they're a pretty cool accessory for Resolve. Now, this video isn't sponsored by Logitech in any way, shape or form. I just personally use Logitech mice and keyboards. I have done for years. So it just made sense for me to talk about Logitech and to give some Logitech mice away in this video. And that's all there is to it. Now, obviously this will work with any mouse out there that has customizable buttons and the software needed to assign macros to them. And in fact, I've actually had a little look on Amazon, found a bunch of customizable gaming mice and put them into some lists so you can go check them out. They're down in the description below. Now for the demonstration, I'm actually going to use one of these. These are one of the G502s. I've set it all up with my DaVinci Resolve. We're going to move the camera. I'm going to show you how I've set it up and I'm going to show you how effective it can be within DaVinci Resolve. So let's do that, shall we? Now, I'm not going to go into this in too much detail, but if you do want me to do a mini sort of tutorial on this, I can do, just let me know. So I'm just going to open my G502 here. And the first thing we're going to do is just change the profile from default to Resolve. So I've set up a Resolve profile. Now what that means is you can customize the settings for depending on which software you've got open. So as soon as you open DaVinci Resolve, it'll load this setup for us, which is nice and handy. We're just going to go to the assignments and I'm just going to talk you through what we've got. So we've got a button right in the middle here. It's a little white button there. That's just set to a macro, which is Control and S which as we know in DaVinci Resolve does save. So at any point I can just hit that to save my current project. If we click in the scroll wheel here, as you can see here, that's mapped to N, which to turn on and off the snapping tool. And then with the scroll wheel, we can actually flick that to the left and to the right. Now all that does is that's mapped to be the left and the right arrow keys. Now again, this is for use on the timeline, that enables you to move left and right a single frame, which is really handy. And then you've got these two buttons on the top here. We've mapped them to be F9 and F10. I'm just going to flick over to the left here and show you these additional buttons on the side. Now we've got three. We've got one here and then we've got these two. This one down the bottom where your thumb sort of naturally sits, I've mapped that to be Control and B, which as we all know in DaVinci Resolve is the cut shortcut. And then we've got Delete for this one and then Backspace for this one at the back. I'm going to go DaVinci Resolve, Keyboard Customization, you see F9 is insert and F10 is overwrite. What I also like to do is if we just hold control and click F9, you can see that control and F9 I've made to be marking. So control and F9 will do a mark in, whereas control and F10 will do a mark out. So how does that all actually work in Resolve? Let me close this. I'm going to open this bit of media here. And what we're going to do, I can hold control on my keyboard and then I can use these top two buttons. I can mark it in point and I can mark an out point like so. I can let go of control and I can just click that button to insert that clip onto my timeline. Now let's just move the playhead there. Let's open this again. Let's choose a different section like so. Now if I was to do my usual method of dragging by default, as you all know, it overwrites like that. Because we've got this to be insert rather than overwrite, I can just click on that one it'll insert the clip and shift everything to the right. If I actually wanted that to overwrite, we could just use my overwrite one, which is this one here, F10, and it'd overwrite. Let's look at some of the actual timeline shortcuts. So we've got this scroll wheel. If I flick that to the left, my playhead goes left, one frame. If I hold it, I can play backwards. If we do it to the right, it's one frame forwards, and we can hold that down, and we can play the clip through in real time. So it's a nice handy way of navigating through your timeline. You can see here, we've got the magnet tool on, which is our snapping. If I click my mouse wheel in, that's now turned off and I can make much finer adjustments holding my mouse button and dragging my playhead. Now I've made some changes, so I wanna save. So I'm just gonna click that button and we've just saved the project. So that's all good. 
Now let's make some amendment on our timeline. Let's move our playhead where we want it. And I'm just going to hit this button down here. And that's going to make a cut. So now we've got a cut in this clip. Let's just do another one here. And we want to get rid of this clip. But we want to leave a space because we're going to put something else there. So I can use this button here, which is my regular delete. And it's got rid of it. Now I've changed my mind, so I actually want to delete this gap. I can use my ripple delete to close that gap up. And again, let's just ripple delete that. Let's go and make a cut here and a cut here. And we'll ripple delete that section. We'll open a new clip. So here's a new preview clip. We'll hold control, mark an in and an out point. I want that in that gap there. So I don't want to overwrite, I want to insert. So I can just give that a click and insert that. You can scroll through, cut out this section here and then ripple delete that. And we're happy with that, so we can hit save, and then we can just flick through and make these minor amendments. Now, as you can see, that's a really cool, quick, handy way to navigate, insert, and mess with clips on your timeline. And that's it. I hope that was useful. I know it's a little bit different this week, but hopefully it's given you some food for thought. And now for the giveaway, the thing you've all been waiting for, to win one of these. Now, all that you need to do to enter is pop a comment down below. And then we'll use a random comment picker to pick four winners and we'll get these sent out. I will send them to anywhere in the world, providing I can send them from the UK. So it doesn't matter where you're from, just pop a comment down below to have a chance of winning one of these. And that's it. So thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for all the ongoing support on the channel. It's because of the sponsors and your support that I can do things like this and I hope that I can do more in the future. So yeah, thank you all very, very much. As always, thumbs up, any comments or feedback or the competition, put them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Done.